Yeah. Hey, uh, you want to go back to the Glenn Beck uh, God clip? Yes. What is he saying? Do we have to back up or we go where we are? We're good. I All think right. we're good. This is God's business. I have no idea. But I'll tell you this. Whether you call it Gaia or whether you call it Jesus, there's a message being sent. And that is, hey, you know that stuff we're doing? Not really working out real well. Maybe we should stop doing some of it. <laughs> I'm just saying. And yesterday I got home and I was thinking about all the messages that I could bring you and all the things that I could tell you. And, oh, I've got stuff on Hezbollah. I've got, oh, I have stuff on radical Islam in America that'll make your eyes fall out. I don't hmm. want that. Or no. don't tell I me while I'm driving. The answer. <laughs> and the answer is. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, really? <laughs> Jimmy farts right on you, and the answer is... <laughs> that really is the answer. A good gasser can cure anybody, but whatever problem you're having. Whatever ails you. A good gasser helps. That's gasser. awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Just shouldn't. tell you the answer. And the answer is... Buckle up! Buckle up, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Yeah, do you think it Make is? Make sure you keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times. I use that one a lot. Because things are going to get bumpy. And uh, just a few reminders there at the beginning, as this roller coaster takes off, always a good safety tip. Keep your arms and legs in. Don't do anything stupid. Mm -hmm. What do you say we follow the big top ten? You can call them Moses' Ten Commandments or... <laughs> yes. Ten rules of thumb. What do you say we start doing those things? Because the things we are doing really suck. Wow. And we're not getting better. He's right, except for the God stuff. Yeah, yeah. That whole God thing is... Eh. So that's what God does. That's what the all-seeing, all-knowing being does. He shapes... What do they call the tectonic plates? Yeah, yeah. He makes them snap like a rubber band and then sends water... To fucking just kill a whole bunch of innocent people while yeah. a lot of shit is stopped. Then God's, if God does that, then God's a boob. Blaspheme! Blaspheme! God is a boob if that's what God does. Is he a boob? A boob. <laughs> and lazy! Fucking yeah. lazy! How yeah. about this? If you, if you really have that much time for individuals, mm -hmm. as the all-seeing, all-knowing being... Almighty. Almighty. Yes. How about you just fuck over the lousy ones? Because he needs It'll save good you a lot of people. time, right? How would you, yeah, but how about this? Let's let's say you were uh, throwing something out in your house. Yeah. And you didn't want to look through what you needed and what you didn't need, and you just threw everything out. People would go, wow, you're an asshole. Oh, the good with the bad. Yeah, that would kind of suck. So if God did do the earthquake that. or the tsunami, then God is mm -hmm. fucking lazy. He's lazy, and he doesn't want to think, and he doesn't want to pick off people individually. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta uh, agree with you on that one. Yeah, how about how about we criticize God for being lazy? Nobody would mind if there was an earthquake and twelve thousand pedophiles were killed <laughs> in a freak accident. Three thousand rapists head burst into flames. God kicks ass. How about for once? God fucking sift through the rubble a little bit yeah. instead of wiping out a whole bunch of people. Because basically, what is the use of me being good if I'm going to get fucking flooded with a bunch of ass-fucking rapists? Why should I be good? Because then in the afterlife, those ass-fucking exactly. rapists are in hell burning with the eternal pitchfork up their ass, and you will be at the right hand enjoying the wealth of right. uh, the afterlife. And a part of me will probably go, look... Um, I'm glad to be here, but do you really have to do that again? There's a lot of kids down there. Do you have to? Do you have to give that kid a tumor in his stomach? Yeah. Really? Do you have to do that? And meanwhile, I just read an interview with Lawrence Bittaker, who is a fucking serial killer rapist who fucking tortured teenagers with pliers, yeah. and he's still alive. Do you have to be so fucking lazy? How about one ounce of stick to itiveness? Well, Jim, I never thought about it that way. You make a good point. <laughs> and why are the streets gold? It's chilly on my feet. <laughs> it's <laughs> worthless really up here. Paved with gold. Why? Why? Listen. 
Why do the roads have to be paved with something that's very slippery? I wear my socks. I fall all over. I chip my teeth twice on your gold fucking sleep. How about something like something soft like cotton? What am I going to do? Sell your streets? Gold is valueless up here. It's a fucking mineral. How about uranium? Fucking silly. And it's so bright up there, Jimmy. And the gold that's going to reflect yes. off the gold. You're not going to be able to sleep. You're not going to see anything. going to get headaches yep. all the time. I had right. my LASIK surgery. I'm going to always have that fucking little, that little circle around my the lights. <laughs> oh. The little star light thingy oh. that you get. So it's people who talk about God all the time and how he's just doing it. I'm not saying it's wrong to believe in God because I think I do. I just don't know where I'm at with especially it. With, some type of Especially God. with the kids that haven't even done anything yet. Whatever to, it to is. piss anybody off all of a sudden you give him a tomb. Really, yeah, exactly. What the fuck is that? Or a about? fucking... That's, that really bothers me. It's a freak of nature. It's, always, it's all it is. It's right. just a nature thing. And they have to explain it, but, but they can't. His work works in mysterious ways, meaning using God is sometimes convenient for it's me. It's an easy excuse. How, about, how yeah. about this mystery? Why does he allow a uh, fucking priest to touch kids and continue, you know, uh, with the God thing? In his name. In his name. Because, Can you imagine yeah. a bunch of people walking around going, how about, how about he starts there? I work for Opie, and they were fingering kids. You're probably <laughs> like, hey, quit using my name. <laughs> I would have to say, <laughs> I would have to fire that person. You'd have to fucking uh, take legal but, action. Because he works in mysterious ways, he, uh, he just yeah. allows them to continue. And these dummies, these dummies still go to church. And meanwhile, I go, hey, look, I, I know... That you're the guys that were sh not only doing this to kids, but shipping them around and hiding them so they could fuck other people's kids. Sure. Yeah. But I still would like you to be the middleman while I talk to God. I guess it's like you're like Paulie and Goodfellas, and you don't talk to anybody yeah, directly, yeah. except for the guy with no zipper who's got a fucking hard on <laughs> for an eight-year-old. Is that Animal House guy? Uh, yeah. No. That's Boone from Animal House, right? Are, are you serious? It looks like him. Wow. Oh. He's on local TV, and Jesus. he's got to be... Oh, my God. How old is he? I don't know. Apparently, he shops at BigNoses.com. Is that him? Jeez. Peter Riegert? Was he... Yeah, uh... looks like him. <laughs> it's not an orgy. It's a toga party. That guy. Is that really him? It looks like him. Holy shit. Anybody? Shit. Is that his name? Is that from him? Um... It looks like him. Oh, my God. He was the one that was with... How old are we? Uh, you know who has had a great career out of Animal House? D-Day. Like, he's in every fucking Who's thing. The guy that rode the motorcycle. Up the stairs. Uh, that, look, they're showing the clip. It, uh, it is him. Oh, my. They just showed the Animal House clip. Well, for an actor, having a, um, a face to go with your name is, is crucial. Oh, my God, he was a so kid. So Animal House was this big success, and I'd been working for... Let's see, that was 77, about six years, which is relatively quick. And, you know, you get lucky when these things succeed. 35 years ago? It made history, though. Well, let's put it this way. I've raised a lot of generations of uh, young people who went to college. That's how we view college. That's you guys. Not, it's like a training film. <laughs> college was a real disappointment, actually, compared to this stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, we Come on, tried to That was the worst. You know, you college was the worst. You know, which, which should like you come Ted to enjoy more? Well, it's, it's more directing than yeah. producing, but I'd say... What happens? <laughs> there is no God. Yeah, why would God then <laughs> do this to you? <laughs> Make you old. Oh, wow. Well, I guess God's thinking of Peter Riegert. <laughs> That's what he's thinking of. It's very yeah. Getting back to you, it's just very confusing. You just I, have to rot how, away. If, if God's listening, how about you start with the priests? How about you get rid of those? Yeah, and, 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 by let's, the way, let's start there. If you're going to do earthquakes, how about that? A fucking earthquake occurred, and miraculously, only a bunch of, a bunch of convicted pedophile priests were killed and fell into a ditch. That would be very and, hard and, to and do. And the weird thing with the priests, they're not like uh, diddling non-believers. No. You got little kids that are like, hey, I kind of like this church thing. I'm going to spend a little more time yeah, here. Yeah, God. I'm going to really uh, commit myself to this. Uh-oh. Right. I think I'm being touched. Right. How about you start there? If you want to allow the priests to continue diddling, then how about they diddle the ones that don't believe? Yeah. Diddle the non-believers. We'll start there. We'll start off slow with the God thing. <laughs> I think it's Good something. Good points, Jimmy. Good points. Science will eventually explain what God is, and it may again. Hmm. It may be another being, or it may. I don't know. 